Universe Trillion Theory. Welcome to Trillion Theory. Trillion Theory is a new universe theory founded by Canadian theorist, pen name Ed Luke. This is one of 30 videos in my Trillion Theory series. For the full-length cosmic story, go to my YouTube channel, Universe New Trillion Theory. This is video 7, Light Spun Into Matter. Trillion Theory presents critical new ideas that uncover the vital role played by black holes in building our universe. Over the coming years, Trillion Theory predicts that its ideas will be proven true. So we are beginning to see why black holes eat light, and what is the difference between a naked black hole and a cloaked black hole. Trillion Theory is the first to discover these. What we don't know about baffling, mysterious black holes totally outweighs what we do. Trillion Theory proposes the cosmos has quadrillions of black holes and they are all tireless workers. Some black holes are visible, such as a supermassive black hole is visible at the hub of a galaxy. And a naked black hole is visible eating light to build a sphere. But most black holes are hidden. After a black hole eats its fill of light to build up a body, it is cloaked inside of its sphere. A black hole is a roundish dark entity which uses super spin to create gravity around itself. Its goal is to attract and devour tons of light. Trillion theory discloses how and why. We look at the exterior of a black hole. A black hole sits in space. Its gravity attracts light. This light bends and then Trillion theory states that the light is spun into matter as it enters the black hole. Trillion theory says a naked black hole feeds till full as it becomes cloaked inside of the sphere it builds. Light approaching a black hole bends and slows, making its last cries for help before it vanishes. The black hole spins the light into atoms of matter. We see a black hole in its naked stage. A naked black hole attracts and spins light into atoms. Its goal is to build a sphere around itself. Trillian theory says, most black holes eat light to build up matter around themselves so that they can create a cosmic sphere. Black holes are masters at spinning light into matter. What is the internal structure of a naked black hole? And what changes after it devours light? Inside the naked black hole, an elastic spiral helix pumps up and down to create body spin and gravity. The compartments of the body prepare to fill with matter. Compartments of the black hole fill with light spun to matter. The black hole spin slows from the weight. Soon the black hole will be fully cloaked inside of the sphere it built, a sphere destined to be a planet or moon. And if it is the largest of a solar system, it will be destined after just a few billion years to turn into a fiery sun. Trillion theory says a small naked black hole eats light spinning it into matter to build a sphere around itself to form a sun, planet, or moon. Black holes eat light for a reason. As cosmic builders, they spin light into matter to erect a sphere around themselves. Thus, there is a small black hole inside of each cosmic sphere. And someday a black hole will be discovered inside of a sphere, thus proving Trillion Theory. There is a cloaked black hole inside every planet, moon, and sun. Cloaked inside of the sphere it built, the black hole provides axial spin and gravity to its orb. The cloaked black hole inside Earth uses its gravity to hold things on Earth's surface and extends this gravity outward to hold our moon and its tiny black hole in Earth's orbit. Black holes built all orbs, solar systems, and galaxies. They provide the spin and the gravity throughout the cosmos. Most black holes are hidden away.
float inside of their cosmic sphere? If so, quadrillions of black holes exist in our vast cosmos. Quadrillions of black holes work the cosmos. A supermassive controls an entire galaxy, while smaller black holes supply rotation and gravity to suns, planets, and moons. A small naked black hole eats light to build a sphere around itself. It then operates from its cloak position inside of the sphere. A much higher evolved supermassive black hole does not eat light to build a sphere around itself. It stays naked so it can control an entire galaxy of solar systems. First, we deal with small black holes. What black holes aren't in trillion theory? Black holes aren't portals to other universes, and they aren't wormholes in space. And a black hole is not formed by the supernova of a sun exploding. Trillion theory shows that the resulting black hole was always inside of the star, right from the star's birth. Trillion theory says that there is super science at work in our cosmos. Much more is afoot here than meets the eye. Clever scientific design. Only two things involved. Light is the incredible material that can spin into matter and later recycle back to light. And black holes are the engines that spin light into matter to build a sphere and billions of years later recycle that matter back to light. Proof number four for Trillion theory could occur right in a physics lab. What if we emulate a black hole in a lab? What if light can be coiled into a spin? What if light can be spun to form matter? This would prove the reason that black holes attract and spin light is to forge atoms. Trillion theory calls on physicists to discover how to spin light into atoms to emulate a black hole. In my futuristic sci-fi novel, The Trillionist, a young man builds a Quantronix machine to spin light into atoms of valuable, pure elements. Here's a new key to black holes. Astronomers proclaim nothing can escape a black hole. Stephen Hawking recanted, saying, radiation escapes. Trillion theory states, light trapped by a black hole always escapes. It just takes billions of years. Follow the process. A naked black hole eats till full, cloaked inside the sphere it built. But after billions of years, that cloaked black hole weakens, losing its matter which escapes back to light. Volcanoes example this process, and suns, and a supernova whose black hole uncloaks back to naked to build a new sphere. Trillion Theory submits a light eaten by a black hole always escapes, usually taking billions of years. Our sun examples a black hole that is now losing its matter back to light. The black hole does this so that it can get naked, become a light eater again, and build a new next generation sphere around itself. Astronomers know that black holes capture light. They say once light is captured by a black hole, it is trapped forever. Trillion Theory says we need to re-examine why a black hole captures light. Trillion Theory shows that black holes capture light to spin it into matter, jailing it for eons. But light always escapes a black hole. It just takes millions to billions of years. See my video, Light Escapes a Black Hole. My Trillion Theory video series is based upon Trillion Theory's seven book series. Your help could be huge. Critical proofs for Trillion Theory require joint venture funding. If you can, partner up with Trillion Theory. If you are an astronomer, an astrophysicist, or a physicist, please partner with Trillion Theory. If you are an investor who likes upside potential, or an angel investor wishing to be part of a legacy, email theory1 at telus.net. For more on Trillion Theory, go to the next video in the Trillion Theory series. And the Trillion Theory, the full version, is now available. 
to take action, share my Trillium Theory videos, and click the subscribe button to receive more of my YouTube videos, and visit my website, Trillionist.com. And thanks for viewing Trillion Theory.